If you don't live under a rock, you've probably heard within the last 12 hours is probably one of the biggest events in America. And surprisingly, it's not a Fortnite event. Former President US Trump actually came under attack. And when I mean under attack, I don't mean like one of these like epic rap battles of history that he seems to have with Joe Biden every single time they go head to head with each other. She challenged me to a golf match. He can't hit a ball 50 yards. Look, I'd be happy to have a driving contest with him. I told you before, I'm happy to play golf if you carry your own bag. Think you can do it? So Trump was doing a rally in the state of Pennsylvania, and there genuinely was an attempt on his life. Now, this isn't like an uncommon thing, by the way. This happens with, you know, a lot of people in politics, a lot of presidents. I mean, a good example is Reagan in the 80s, but since then, we haven't had anything anywhere near as close. Honestly, what's happened with Trump over the past 12 hours, it has dwarfed like anything in UK politics. I made a video uh, a couple days ago talking about how UK politics are a joke. But again, like America has absolutely dwarfed us again. The funny thing is, though, it's going to be one of those situations where everyone on the planet remembers exactly what they were doing at the time that the news came out. Riley just said in chat, did you all see that Trump got shot? Wait, I gotta search that. Wait a second. No way. Like dead, dead? I, I mean, she said just. Oh my God. Wait, I gotta see this. Good, good, good. That clip nice. is about to be insane because we're talking about Trump getting sh Now, to explain all the details and what happened is honestly going to be incredibly hard. I mean, the information's out there, but to put it in a way that YouTube won't take this video down straight away, it's going to be difficult. If you've looked through my channel the past week, despite other commentary channels covering the exact same stuff, using the exact same verbiage, I've had like more age restrictions in the past week than I basically have ever had in my entire career. And as of yet, they haven't told us any reason why they're edge gated apart from apparently excessive swearing which i know is just not true i mean a good example is the cry of fear video i uploaded years ago like that got age restricted they told us why because there was like a decapitation scene in there we blurred it out we censored it and they gave the video back full with ads but anyway you didn't come here to watch a millionaire cry about his money you came here to watch what happened to the orange man so the rally that trump was at took place in butler which is a small town in pennsylvania now again this place is small incredibly small it's got a population of around 30 15,000, so basically just like a, a small Scottish village. This attack on Trump happened within the first six minutes into the speech, so basically at the very beginning. In the middle of the sentence, you can hear this incredibly loud pop sound, and what follows, you really have to see to actually believe. Really see something that said, take a look at what happened. Oh. Now, strangely enough, despite being attacked, Trump seemed to react faster than the Secret Service agents, you know, the people whose entire job is to make sure the current president is safe. So he recognizes he gets hit in the ear, he ducks, and then afterwards he gets piled on by Secret Service. To be fair, he might have actually been on like a, you know, a raised podium. But all I'm saying is, you know that game that came out years ago where you had to like protect the president, you had to protect Trump and like dive in front of this, uh, this laser that obviously had a sniper about to shoot him? Oh, yes. Ah! Yeah! I am the world's greatest bodyguard! They're gonna give me a trophy! They're gonna give me a wax figurine! I feel that anyone that played that game had a faster reaction time than the Secret Service. Now, after he was huddled by his team, they obviously crowd around him like this, you know, Roman centurion shield trying to protect him to make sure nothing else happens. And then obviously they want to get him back to his private car to safety. But then Trump realizes the entire world is watching him. People that like him, don't like him, all eyes are going to be on him because of this like insane event. So he kind of sticks his fist out in defiance, tells the Secret Service agents to stop to let him do it. And then they take him away. Watch out. Now, one thing I find amazing about that is we have reached the point where we have Donald Trump clip farming, which is <laughs> a sentence I never thought I'd say. Now, there's been loads of photos as well that was taken during the event, you know, uh, information circling. Now, obviously, whenever you watch any of these kind of videos to learn about a situation, you don't really care about the situation. You care more about who did it. It's like in the UK when there's like any kind of like crime committed by someone, everyone immediately takes to like TikTok and socials to try to find who the person is. Now, the name of the suspect is Thomas Crooks. He's a 20 year old that lived in Pennsylvania. Now, this is something that everyone was parroting online, but now it's been officially confirmed.
confirmed by the FBI. They've released a statement basically name dropping him, which is really surprising because in situations like this, they try to not give attention to any suspects. Now, the confusing thing about this person is that they were a registered Republican uh, via voting records. But despite that, he actually made a $15 donation to Liberal Act Blue, which is a political action committee. And that, by the way, was the same day that Joe Biden was inaugurated as president. Now, again, I'm not sure how true this is because it's like a certified TikTok moment and TikTok has about as much honesty as Twitter. But apparently people actually managed to find the guy's Steam account and the game that he had on it was the Protect the President game that I just talked about two minutes ago. Now, is this a real account or a troll? I mean, the review is saying, you know, it'll help me prepare for the real thing. That was posted the same day that the actual attack took place. So it's more likely to be probably a troll just like LARPing as him. So as we know at the minute, the suspect basically seems to have put himself on this like uh, barn-like building, which was around 135 meters away from where Trump was giving his speech. But at the same time, the Secret Service actually had their own person that was sat there with a long range scope. And this person was behind Trump. There's actually a clip of the Secret Service agent realizing what was happening and then having to make, you know, a physical adjustment before I guess returning the, uh, the, the pop sounds. God, I do hate how new to the internet is. Take a look at what happened. Oh. Now, the biggest conversation at the minute seems to be how come the local police and the Secret Service were just like so lax to reply to this? I mean, I get it. It's not like the Save the President game on Steam. There isn't like a huge, you know, laser pointer giving the sniper's position away. And the worst thing is like before it happened, there seemed to be eyewitnesses that understood that there was, you know, something really weird happening. You actually had the BBC interview like correspondence and it just, it, it comes across like, like, like a smiling friends bit. We noticed the guy crawling, bear crawling up the roof of the building beside us 50 50 feet away from us so we're standing there and you know we're pointing we're pointing at the guy crawling up the roof and he had a right he had a um we're pointing at him the police are down there running around on the ground we're like hey man there's guy on the roof with the and the police were like, huh, what? You know, like, like they didn't know what was going on. I think one of the worst things about all this as well is like, you know, TMZ, how everyone seems to hate TMZ. They actually beat the Secret Service. They actually already got out an exclusive video of people at the rally actually yelling at the person on the roof. <laughs> Now, Trump wasn't the only person affected by the attempt on his life. There's actually two people in critical condition as of recording this video, and one of them, unfortunately, didn't make it. Obviously, with the amount of pops that were heard, they had to go somewhere if they weren't making contact with Trump, so obviously connected with the people behind him. Now, you've obviously clicked on this video to get the real opinion. What does Sleepy Joe think? Well, after he finished his uh, daily nap, he basically went on the podium, condemned all the actions, and wished his friend well. Look. There's no place in America for this kind of violence. It's sick. It's sick. One video I do actually want to show you guys is a doctor going over the attempt on Trump. And like, it is insane that like, if if that round went a couple millimeters to the left or to the right, he wouldn't be here. He, he straight up would be game ended. It is hard to overstate just how lucky the former president was from a neuroanatomy standpoint. And people are talking about inches. He was inches away from disaster. Folks, he was millimeters away from disaster. There are so many vital structures that are right next to your ear. I mean, for example, the superficial temporal artery and vein are right there, millimeters away. This would not have been a fatal injury, but one that could cause some serious consequences. Branches of the facial nerve, very close by. Injury there could have caused paralysis to his face. If his head was at any other angle, that would have gone to the posterior part of his skull, blown out the posterior portion. That area is rich with venous sinuses draining blood from her brain. And that would not have been a survivable injury. He is very fortunate. Other people today were not so fortunate. But again, like I said earlier, like, like there have been attempts on other political figures in the past. I mean, for example, Reagan in the 80s. And between Reagan and now, there really hasn't been a serious attempt. Now, one thing I think everyone needs to do is just wait for like the cold, hard facts to come out because at the minute, like uh, every second TikTok I scroll, I see more information 
uh, on this suspect. And that's fine. People can spout what they want. But obviously, then you go into the comment section and you basically see people saying like, this is a, a deep state ploy by the CIA, FBI. That's why the uh, the Secret Service agents took so long because they, they were in on it as well. They were paid actors. But yeah, that's pretty much the entire situation as of now. I'm very sure there will be like more updates soon. But again, it just reminds me like the UK, the UK is dystopia. It's a third world country, but <laughs> at least I'm not in America.